organizational policies. In a small company, it's usually a sysadmin's responsibility to decide what computer policies to use. In larger companies with hundreds of employees or more, this responsibility usually falls under the chief security officer. But in smaller businesses or shops, as the IT lingo goes, the sysadmin has to think carefully about computer security and whether or not to allow access to certain users. There are a few common policy questions that come up in most IT settings that you should know. Should users be allowed to install software? Probably not. You could run the risk of having a user or accidentally install malicious software, which we'll learn about in the upcoming course in security. Should users have complex passwords with certain requirements? It's definitely a good rule of thumb to create a complex password that has symbols, random numbers, and letters. A good guideline for a password blend is to make sure it has a minimum of eight characters that make it more difficult for someone to crack. Should you be able to view non-work-related websites like Facebook? That's a personal call. Some organizations prefer that their employees only use their work computer and network strictly for business, but many allow other uses, so their employee can promote their business or goods on social media platforms, stay up to date on current events, and so on. It will definitely be a policy that you and your organization's leaders can work out together. If you hand out a company phone to an employee, should you set a device password? Absolutely. People lose their mobile devices all the time. If a device is lost or stolen, it should be password protected, at the very least, so that someone else can't easily view company emails. We'll dive way deeper into the broader impact and implications of security and organizational policies in the security course that's last up in this program. These are just a few of the policy questions that can come up. Whenever policies are decided upon, have to be documented somewhere. As you know from a lesson in documentation in the first course, it's super critical to maintain good documentation. If you're managing systems, you'll be responsible for documenting your company's policies, routine procedures, and more. You can store this documentation on internal wiki site, file server, software, wherever. The takeaway here is that having documentation of policies already available to your employees will help them learn and maintain those policies.